Welcome back to Coma 2 Vicious Sister. Alright, so let's go save Chance. No, for you. bring me to this is the one that brings me back to the school right so this one brings me to the train station and also brings me to Now, now that I'm thinking about it, if every place that I went to that have had an issue with the Vicious Sister, I wonder if something new came back. So I'm actually going to go down to the train place and see if there's anything new down here. Looks like the trains are running through this platform now. I can't go to show us a regular way. Maybe I should explore around a bit. There may be a new white or a... There is. Oh, and a... Uh, and a receipt the torn page. That one was the one for this one. So now do I have... Oh, damn it. There were fire in the train. Please evacuate the train. Literally all that's left is these three. And I would have all of them. Now, where is this white hole going to go to? Leave it too. The elevator's open now. Let's find out. I wonder what this is. This wasn't here before. It must have been created after we left the hospital. Where am I? I am down here. Oh. Well, there's another one that goes to the hospital. Ooh. I mean, I already have a full inventory, so there's no point in me looking in here. that happened.
Where am I now? Oh, I'm over here. Oh, okay. I remember this one. Okay, I remember going into this one. Door was locked here, then I went through that one. Okay. I've been here before. There's just now a new one that goes straight to the train station. Let's see. Never looked for. All right, now let's go back and save chance. Remember correctly. Kabe, and then Dokabe will bring us back to the school's gymnasium, and then we go back out the doors of the gymnasium, the door that we came in. Right, here we go. Here. That's a hiding hole. And upstairs. room. I don't know where the other three, I have no idea where the other three um, notes are. People are telling me that it was in the school. <clears throat> but it's not like I really need all the notes anyway. Here to beat the game. So I'm here and I need to go all the way back over here. Ow! I did not notice that until the last second. Alright, I'm gonna... Instead of wasting another 500 of buying that, I'm just gonna buy one, so if I lose one health, all I lose is one health. Let's see if I can get a safe chance now. I did! Chance, oh my god, you're still alive. Uh, Mina, you came back. <laughs> Are you crazy? I found some spectral essence. I thought if there's any possibility you're still alive, I had to come back. <laughs> that was thoughtful, Mina. You've been through hell tonight and you're still thinking of others. Can you move? We're not staying here. Wait, take this. I want you to have it. Ah, it's the ruby! Okay, so that's why people are telling me to save Chance, is because he has the ruby. You received the blood ruby. Oh, thanks. I guess I'll have a nice memento to remember this insane night. Come on, I'll help you. <laughs> you saved my life, Mina. I'll never forget what you did for me tonight. Well, you have a chance to go back home now. Ha, huh, don't remind me. I honestly thought I'd never have a ride... Have to ride New York's crappy subway again. Would have been... <laughs> would have been a mercy, really. I can take care of myself now. Good luck, Mina. Alright. Now that we got all three things, I think. Oh, no. Sound and broadcasting booth. Mina, wait. Despite what you believe, we're fighting on the same side. You should know what to expect before going in there. Why should I trust what you what you say? I have no intention of putting Young Ho in harm's way. I didn't know what the Ghost Centurions were planning for Young Ho. If you if what you said is true. I will renounce my allegiance to the Order right now. 
Young Ho is my friend too, and I would never hurt him. I only have one purpose tonight, to carry out my sworn duty to protect you, the Shamka. When I heard Jiang, when I heard Jiang Mi died, I realized you were the you were the one that Sumi saw in Chen Haizhou's mirror over 60 years ago. I can deal with troublesome shades if you really want to stop Vicious Sister, bring me. Okay, let's say I believe everything you're saying. What's next? You must identify Moon Essence before it's any of any use. Firstly, we'll need to inspire the blade using the light from the Blood Ruby. I have the ruby right here. I got it from Chance. It fits perfectly. The blade slid right out. It looks... It still looks super... Super sharp. The edge never dulls. You should know... You should know that the first time it's seen light in over a hundred years. Now we have to purify the blade using the holy water of separation. As luck would have it, Father Misu blessed the water tonight. Pour it on the blade carefully. The blade begins to emit a dull glow as you pour the holy water across it. You received sanctified moon essence. Okay, cool. So I'm guessing we finally found the final thing. So, good ending. You're going down. When the time comes, don't hesitate. Go for her heart. If you have any questions, now is the time to ask. What's on your mind? Earlier tonight, you said I was drawn to Lady Jungfang's heirloom. Was that a, What was that about? Lady Jungfang was the wife of King... I'm not even going to try to pronounce these names. Uh, the last ruler of Silla. She was also a powerful shaman ka. That part was left out of history books, though. The Silla Kingdom? That's over a thousand years ago. But why is it called Taijo's Mirror? I'm impressed you know this, but have no clue who MacGyver is. Lady Xu Fang used her mirror's unique properties to orchestrate Taijo's rays of power. He would eventually untie, unite the three kingdoms and found Korea, which is where the name Korea was originally derived. The rest is history. Since then, the mirror has been used for divinations through shamanic ancestry can activate it to and on the night of a super blood moon these individuals tend to gravitate towards its presence earlier tonight you told me vicious sister had some unsettled history with song's family does that have anything to do with sumi park sister is a fretted shade she sprang into existence as a direct result of a single individual's emotional trauma that person is sumi park Sister manifested after Sumi learned of her brother's death. Against my wishes, that day they developed a close, no, an unbreakable bond. I forced Sumi to abandon her on the night of the last Super Blood Moon. I even asked Sumi to destroy Sister with the Moon Essence. When Sister found out, she was furious. Neither girl ever forgave me. We were forced to leave her trapped here, away from her Waking World counterpart. Her resentment and power grows every year. Sumi's failure to act left behind a dark legacy at Sewa High that she has tried to forget. I suppose it's only fitting that Sister corrupted Mrs. Sung's shadow to be a sick abrasion of the person Sumi loves most, her grandmother. Nevertheless, it now falls to us to end the battle of, of will between these vicious sisters. Uh, how is how is it possible that you don't you didn't know the ghost vigilante's true intentions for Young Ho tonight? Sumi used her power as the ghost vigilante minister to choose tonight's team. She led me to believe Jang Mi was the one she passed the moon essence to in 1954. Tragically, Jang Mi was probably groomed from a young age to believe this lie as well. She was a real Shamka, but only Sumi could have known she was never ever received a blade. With Jang Mi out of the picture, Sumi could prevent the great gnashing without killing Vicious Sister. That means Young Ho, the vessel, would have to die. She must have filled Hung Bei in on my reports. He split from our group earlier and probably set out to make quick work of Young Ho. I guess things didn't go accordingly to plan. Sumi knows Young Ho is my friend and that I would have never condoned her plan. I still haven't figured out why she's protecting Vicious Sister and isn't worried about what you can do with the blade. I'm ready. Just one more question. Uh, but I need to know this. Just, how old are you? 
Not gonna lie, I'm a little freaked out by what I saw. Mina, you know, there are some things better left unsaid besides you shouldn't ask a lady her age. Now moving on, I'm not going to mince words. They will kill us if kill us to finish that ritual. Remember, do not hesitate in there. Alright. Ah dang it. Alright, let's save. And let's go. It's actually not bad. Achievement. Fighting fit. What is it? Oh, I'm guessing because I never actually lost the health. Oh, there's Young Ho. <laughs> well done, CO. As promised, your soul will be free after this ritual. Yes, sister, I'm ready to do your bidding. However, it would appear that you have left a crucial job unfinished. What? <laughs> Young Ho. What have you done to him? Why have you brought these uninvited guests into my sweet sanctum? You're not getting away with this. He's already started the blood ritual and the air is getting toxic in here. If we don't do something fast, we're all done for. Welcome to the party, girls. I'm afraid you're a bit late to the show. Don't fret. My lovely granddaughter will be happy to fill you in on the details. Theo, make sure our guests get a warm welcome or our deal is off. You know, those eldritch vines binding Young Ho can be killed at the core. I'll keep her minions distracted. Find a way to go to free him. Go. <laughs> Young Ho. <laughs> Young Ho is bound by eldritch vines. If I can release the grip on him, maybe I'm able to stop the distance before it's too late. Vines reach all the way to the second floor. I won't be able to release Young Ho unless I kill all of the floor. <laughs> What do you think you're doing, little rat? Save your breath for trying to blow up the school. Your ritual isn't happening tonight. My girl may be preoccupied, but you don't have the relic's protection now. I'll crush your heart with my own hand for showing such impudence. <laughs> there won't be enough to hack. beat the game then. Easy. The hell's bullshit is that? If I can't escape from her, then how the hell do I kill her?
do this again. Dagger won't be enough to hack in. Okay. Alright, this is gonna be annoying. I'm gonna be at this forever. Okay. Let's try this again. So, apparently I have to go to the second floor, or dodge her second floor, hide, and then I have to do a little, I have to find, talk to the core, find the axe, find the hammer, use the hammer on the axe, use the axe on the core, and then destroy the core in 200 seconds. So this is going to be fun. This one might be, this episode might be a little longer. <laughs>
Yeah. Boxes have something. Little Prince Lopez, aren't you? You can't stub the blood ritual. <laughs> now you go upstairs. And hide. Ah, son of a bitch. <laughs> I hid! That's a little bull. I hid! That's bull. I hid and I didn't mess up the commands. Dang it! I really wish I had that, uh, the infinite sprint potion on. We almost beat the game! Almost! <laughs> Shut up, vicious sister. You're gonna lose tonight! Drink these two. Bye, you and you. Thank you now. I thought I screwed up there. Cool. And here. That. That. I'm so confused on this. Oh, I have to do it all.
Roots inner core is exposed, but it's protective part is regenerating. There's got to be a way to kill this thing. Some kind of cryptograph pattern on the core surface. I home? How ever? How would you ever survive without me? Looking for this? Yeah, we're saying something about this. Receive the second torn cryptograph. Okay. Got it. Thanks, I am. Um... Alright, so. You use that on the white one. So, second, third, and second to last. Alright. So it's this one, this one, that one. Yeah! The root is dead and the other vines have withered. They are no longer binding young hope. You've been a thorn in my side long enough. Time to end the game of cat and mouse. He's approached the ritual site. I need to get down there and help young hope. Through your powers combined, I command you to open the herb unborn gate. Too late, girl. You're too late, girl. Friend is mine. We'll make a fine vessel as I walk through the door to your world. Stop it. Let's go. Look, you flail about like a flesh out of water. Misery. <coughs> Misery we still has no power here as I your person. You can't believe the shadow room without me. Don't, I mean, don't interfere. Go back to the world in which you came, you she-demon. And it's over! <laughs> Minaya, mm -hmm. you go for that. Cool. And we're done with the game, finally. So, review. I love a lot of a lot of stuff about the game. There's some things that bug me here and there, but the game was actually really well. The horror, perfect. I mean, after a while, it like it was good when the first happened, but it was one of those things where after a while it did get a little repetitive. The music is amazing. Um, the art style, I, art style, 10 out of 10. A horror, I'd give it an 8 out of 10. The horror was really good, but I like I was saying, when some things were just a little repetitive. Turn that down just a bit. Like I was saying, when the, when I've done already certain things, it kept getting repetitive. Like, but I will say, the, the like, the, 
the high heels in the hallways. That is horrifying. Um, story? Actually, really good. It was confusing as all hell in the beginning. Um, but it actually became really good. I like the little mechanics where if you found the certain items in each level, you could keep yourself without losing a health during each of these ones. Because apparently, uh, when I was looking online, um, if you don't do it, when you get to this final boss, you literally have one health bar. If you just zoom through. You literally have one health. You lose four of your health bars. You have to fight the boss with one health. And she looks like she's been through the ringer. But all around, I give the game a nine. Yeah, that's, I'd say, yeah, an eight at, for a whore, nine out of ten. For a normal game, I mean, what, seven hours? Eight out of ten. Yeah, Zio's dead. That's why. He decided to get rid of his best friend. And I love, I love the story about these two. The fact that the main character actually, like, grew up, actually learned from her mistakes. Good lord, is it bright. My face. Blah! Discharged! Huh? <laughs> he woke up! Yay! So where do we go from here? Oh, it's chance. I think so. The coma two vicious sister. All right, guys. Yeah, that was a that's a that was a great game. If you guys are a big fan of horror games, I do recommend it. It was actually pretty good. Um, you could probably beat it in a single day, though. Because, uh, me doing this, it probably took a lot longer. Um. Is this a, is this a... Ooh. Are we gonna get a coma 3? Are we gonna get a coma 3? Ooh, there's chance! The information you requested, Minister, it's all there. Blood Moon Incident Report. Hey! <laughs> Your grandmother would want you to have this. the end of it yep all right guys so this is done so stay tuned for next week's um horror friday game which is going to be remothered it is going to be remothered tormented fathers we're going to be doing this one first and then we're going to be doing the new um 
new remothered uh, porcelain or something porcelain. Fuck, can't remember the name. But we are first going to do remothered tortured fathers for our next week's um, Friday, and then we're going to do the after that we're going to do the next remothered. Um, and then after that we're going to be doing uh, Madame Adine, um, dark pictures, uh, dark pictures. Um, Madame Adeen and Dark Pictures uh, Little Hope um, I don't know if I'm going to be doing Madame Adeen with friends as a let's play or if I'm going to do it solo because I know the theater mode and all that um, so I'm still debating on and if we are doing it I need to get certain a day that where all three of us are playing it and recording it so um, right now it's just going to be um, uh, remothered is what's our next game? Remothered. There you go. Remothered. So, stay tuned for the next week, guys, on Horror Fridays.